performer just wouldn't make sense. So the question, no. Yes, for a mostly kind of compression. Yes. Um, images and videos. Are we using um, You, you are, you are. In fact, so if you look at the original file that I showcased last time, right? I hope people are following here. If you look at the original file that I showcased, I said the original file that I, that I took, the one minute, 39 second long footage, I, I, we're using as an example. I said that that's shot in 4K. But the other, the other formats that, that are available via YouTube, because YouTube converts these things, when the conversion takes place, you're losing pixels in the process, and so you lose the quality. Which is why if you watch a, if you watch the same, if you watch this, for those of you that have bothered, if you watch this same video in, in 4K, I mean, in, if, you, if you watch a 4K variant of this video and compare it with one that's uh, using a 144p resolution, that's that the quality is poor, right? If you've lost some pixels, gone. So yes, you are. So it has everything to do with the number of pixels, not the size of so, but the number of pixels dictates the size. The, the size of the pixels is going to be the same. It's a unit. No, no, no. There's no such thing. A pixel is just a uniform size. Yeah. Guys, are we following? Uh, these are important things to think about here as we are dealing with more. So, so you sit here and you think, you think like him, and you think, but what's the point, right? Uh, I'm trying to think of examples here, closer to home. If you use, anyone use Google Photos in here? No, Google Photos, when you use your Android phone, your, 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 your images, the images that you take out might be backed up to Google Photos, right? You can get there at photos.google.com. It turns out, right, what, the, what Google Photos does is it will ask you to decide whether you want to store your images in their original format or if you want to store them in a slightly reduced, uh, with a slightly reduced quality, there's a catch there. They'll tell you to say, if you store them in their original format, you lose a number of uh, space allocated to you, free space. But if you agree to, to say, you know, you can do with um, lost quality in the, in, the, in the pictures, you store them for free. Do you, do you know this? Have you bothered to check this? Yeah. What do you do online? <laughs> Has anyone not noticed the Google thing I'm talking about here? Google, for, Google Photos? Or, or has anybody bothered to, to, to check, uh, if, if you log into your Google account, to check, to check um, how your space is being used across the different Google applications? Because it turns out that the usage of the space allocated to you by Google, for instance, takes into account how much space is used by Gmail, Google Photos, Google Drive, all these different applications, right? Yeah. They're integrated. So if you bother to look at, um, let me just show, see if you can showcase an example here. Um, what's the size of archive images? I don't know. Uh, oh, I think we should show this. I mean, we can't do everything in um, we can't do everything in the labs, right? I'll just go to my account. Just you might forget about this. I mean, maybe it will help explain certain things here. So if if I, I I'm I'm using my personal account here because the Unza the Unza account can be misleading. I don't store a lot of things, and also I have a lot more space, free space available because it's it's a it's an institutional account. But if I if I look at uh, you notice this. The free space allocated to my Google account, my Gmail account, is 15 GB, right? And I've used up about 95%. So if, I, if I'm trying to reclaim space, I'd, I'd have to figure out exactly where this space, or how this space is being used, right? So that I decide what to get rid, what to archive, and whatnot. You notice that if I, if I check um, how this space is being used, a large proportion is coming from my Gmail because I've had my Gmail account for a really long time. Um, 
But interestingly enough, you notice that there's a small amount coming from Google Photos. Now, this doesn't make sense, right? Because, well, for me at least, because every time I'm taking photos, if you see me taking those photos in class and whatnot, they are being synced to my, to my uh, Google Photos, uh, to, my, to my Google account, right? So I can access them via Google Photos. And I have a lot of these things, right? I take a lot of photos, and I can get away with that because I know that Google provides me with free space. But, but observe, if I, if, if I click that link that says, um, check how you can reduce uh, this, uh, the amount of space you're taking up, you notice that some point here, options, right? I'll go to Google Photos option, and then I will go to photo settings here, right? I don't know if people can see here. Hopefully you can see. This is what I'm talking about here. Right? Garbage. This is what I'm talking about here. Um, if, I, if I store my, that t Google, so Google Photos is telling me to say, if I decide to change the settings and say, I want to store the photos I take everywhere in the original resolution, the full resolution, then it, it means I'll, I'll, I'll start using up this amount of space that is allocated to Google Photos. But on the other hand, if I decide to say it's fine, Google or Google Photos, reduce the quality of the images that I'm uploading to Google Photos, I, I don't mind. You know, it's fine, the quality is still going to be okay. Then I store them for free. And Google does this because they know that, I mean, space is, it's, it's, it's not free for them, right? I mean, it's, you know, they're spending money on these things. Right, so they, they want to make sure that they use up as, as little space as they can possibly use up. I don't know if this is making sense. Probably it is. 